start off the evening by apologizing for the stain on my dress. I told <laughs> Representative Wiener to pull out, but... Oh! Give it up for me, guys. I'm gonna dress on for you people. I did. experience recently that I just, I had to share with you guys. I, um, and it was in bed. Uh, I went home with a guy, and he let me know that he didn't want to use any condoms by saying, well, I'm clean. I don't sleep with a lot of random people. Do you? <laughs> this was a one-night stand, ladies and gentlemen, alright? I've known this asshole for three fucking hours. I don't know his last name. I don't know what he does for a living. He's trying to slut-shame me into not using a condom. Like, I'm gonna go, I don't want this complete stranger to think I'm a whore. Let's have unprotected sex. <laughs> Has this ever worked? Okay, when you pick up somebody at a bar and the conversation goes something like, hey, you wanna go back to my place? Yeah, sure. Don't then go, I'm sure you're way harder to sleep with normally. I'm just so charming and irresistible. Uh-uh. I went to the bar looking for somebody to fuck. He didn't say anything racist for three hours. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, I, have, I have other strong opinions about condoms. Gentlemen, if you cannot fill out a Magnum condom, don't buy them. Alright, because the kid behind the counter doesn't care, but I do. Because the half empty sack hanging off the end of your prick is not only unattractive, it's also a serious source of awkward conversations with my gynecologist. So, uh. So I, uh, I'm 24 years old, I've got a college degree, uh, it was like $100,000, and, um, I just quit my job and moved back here with my parents. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. My parents are adorable. My mom's this cute, ex-hippie, liberal Democrat. Got any of those in the house? Yeah, my father is an ex-military Rush Limbaugh conservative. He's always felt equally uncomfortable around homosexuals and vegetarians. <laughs> Yeah, his lifelong aversion to hummus was explained when we discovered he always thought it was an anal loop that the gays use. It's amazing. So every time we go out to dinner with my mother's gay friends, uh, my dad always packs a couple of Slim Jims along, so he's got something to bat them off with. I, I took my father to an indie coffee shop for the first time in his entire life the other day. And we walked in, and the poor man tried to order a cappuccino, and he said, I would like a cappuccino just like we practiced. And the girl behind the counter said, what kind of milk would you like? And my dad went, I want milk from a cow, not goat or soy or breast milk or whatever it is you people use here. <laughs> poor thing. Oh, man. So, uh, my parents, uh, my parents have this cleaning lady that comes to the house because my dad's retired and I'm unemployed, so that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, her name's Maria, she's from Mexico. I don't know what her immigration status is, and I don't care. But, um, what cracks me up is that every week before my parents come, she, uh, they, they break their neck cleaning the damn house. So from my perspective, we're really just paying this lovely Mexican woman money to come over and admire how clean we keep things. I don't, I don't understand. Speaking of racial profiling, <laughs> um, I've given this issue a lot of thought, and I, I gotta tell you that I think the good really does outweigh the bad. I mean, there's the obvious stuff, right? Like increased national security, because that's totally worked out. <laughs> but I just want to say that as a white woman, I feel super comfortable talking to the police, even when I have drugs on me. <laughs> Awesome. So, I gotta, I, oh man. So, biology fucking sucks for me. My body, and by the body I mean vagina, cannot tell the difference between a penis that's like attached to economic resources and like just gonna commit to me or is like telling the truth and some bum that's just gonna ask me for five bucks on his way out the door. Like, I can't tell just based on girth. 